Who the f allowed this question to be on the SAT? What is 64 to the negative one third power times 36 to the negative one half power? So when we have something in the X to the negative A divided by B power, we can just rewrite that as one divided by X to the A divided by B power. So 64 to the negative one third just turns into one divided by 64 to the one third power. And 36 to the negative one half power is just going to be one divided by 36 to the one half power. And if you look at the denominator for these two fractions, they're in what we call X to the A divided by B form. And that just turns into X to the A power with the root of B. So 64 to the one third just turns into 64 to the first power with the root of three. And 36 to the one half power just turns into 36 to the first power with the root of two. And when we have a root of three, that just means what number multiplied by itself three times is going to give us this number over here, which is 64. And when we have a root of two, that just means what number multiplied by itself two times is going to give us 36. For 64, X is going to come out to be four. And for 36, X is going to come out to be six. Now we still have the numerators on top from before. So if we put together the fractions, we get one over four times one over six multiply out the denominators and we get one over 24. And if you want a bunch of free SAT prep stuff, it's all in my bio.